Hi scientists, are you ready to get to the root of it all? Ha 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 ha. Yes, we're going to be learning about plant parts. Are you ready? Okay. So we talked about how important the seed is. That's where it all begins. Once the seed knows the conditions are right, it opens up. And what it does is it sends out its roots. Can you say roots? Roots. Good job. That's right. It sends out its roots and roots grow down. And what are they looking for down in the soil? What does Willie the worm do in the soil? That's right, he created pockets. And what are the pockets for? Hmm, rainwater, that's right. What are our roots growing down to get? Water, ding, ding, ding. That's right, the roots are drinking up all the water and the nutrients that Willie the worm left behind from his Poop, castings, that's right. The roots are soaking all of that up, right? Okay, and it's bringing all of that back up to the plant. Now, once that's happened, it's going to start sending something up from the ground. We're gonna call that a what? I think you know this, a stem. It's gonna come up out of the ground, that's right. And the stem's job is to bring the water and the nutrients from the roots to the rest of the plant. And the stem's gonna have another job I'm gonna tell you about in a second. What's gonna grow off of the stem? Leaves, and the leaves have a job too. They make food. What? That's right, plants eat food. Do they eat hamburgers? No, they don't, but they do eat food. They make food out of sunlight. What? That's right, they're pretty cool. They can make food out of sunlight. It's called photosynthesis, and it's a chemical reaction. Does that sound familiar? Yeah, chemical reaction. They use sunlight plus carbon dioxide, that should sound familiar, plus water, plus something that makes them green called chlorophyll, and ta-da, they have food. Pretty cool, huh? And the stem takes that food, and passes it along to the rest of the plant. So that stem has a lot of important jobs. It carries the water, it carries the food, and then what else does it do? Do plants move around like this? No, the stem helps it stand up straight, right? All right, so we have the roots, we have the stem, and we have the leaves, and then we have these beautiful flowers. And what did we learn about those? What do they release? Fruit and seeds. There you go, you learned about all of the amazing parts of a plant. Good job, you guys, I'm so proud of you. Okay, for your activity, let's see if we can grow some plants. We sent you a baggie stapled down the middle to separate our two different types of seeds. We have lima beans and peppergrass seeds. Now, we have cotton, not soil. Do our seeds need soil? Is that one of the conditions? No. They just need water, air, and warmth. So we're gonna use our cotton to provide the water. So we're gonna get them wet, put them in there. Go ahead and put your seeds in. Now, how are we gonna provide air? Just don't seal your baggie. And the warmth, go ahead and put it in a window where you get sunlight. And then we're gonna watch and see what happens, okay? And then we gave you this little paper to go ahead and write the date that you planted your seeds and you can watch them grow. I can't wait and see, so send me your pictures or your videos and the timeline of how these grew, and I can't wait to see. And I will see you in the Beaker's Lab for our next lesson. Take care, guys.